In today's episode, we're going to be unboxing a set of Fred Morrison small pipes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident bagpiper. If you like this kind of content, please like the video, comment below with any thoughts you might have, and subscribe to the channel. Also, I do give Skype lessons if you want more personalized instruction. Now, let's get this thing open. All right, I'm excited. Uh, one of my students, Mr. Steve Allen, um, who is sitting just off camera. He can say hi if he wants. Good Steve. morning, everybody. There it is. It looks like it came straight from Scotland. Is that correct? Correct. So yes, yeah, so this is uh, this is exciting. Let's go ahead and uh, get a knife out. Again, I'm going to use just a very little bit of the tip of the knife and get through some of this. So yeah, it looks like this was repacked by DHL for customs and inspection and everything. And boy, how did they put a lot of tape on it? All right, what's here? Ah, the site certificate, very important. This is how, proving that uh, the Blackwood was properly sourced. So keep that in a safe place. Perhaps even more. Yeah, even more documentation, wow. You got a lot of documentation with this thing. This has to be the hardest box to open I've ever unboxed on this channel. Is there two of them here? Shouldn't be. <laughs> Looks like it's two totally separate boxes. Three hours later. All right, this is coming in two boxes. It almost looks like two instruments. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, oh, now we're getting into it, everybody. Nice and away. Okay, starts off with a nice, lovely bit of bubble wrap, which is great. Get that out of the way. Some more. And we have the bellows providing the air. Is there every So, this whole box was actually just for the bellows. So I see you went the bellows route and not the mouth blown yeah. route. It's always good to pick up a new skill. You played a bellows pipe before? Nope. First time for everything, people. All right, lovely. Oh, and this is good. They even put a little uh, key ring in for you. So, you see at the end of the bellows here, the key ring, it means that uh, you can get your arm through it. You don't have to re-thread the belt every time. That's I do that on all of my bellows as well, but it's nice seeing one coming from the factory. But uh, as per Macal normally, it's got nice padding on both sides. And this one's relatively easy to move. Um, on some other earlier Macallan bellows, whew, these were stiff, but this seems to have some nice action to it. Looking forward to playing these here in a couple minutes. All right, so the bellows, I'll hand these over to Mr. Allen. So now I can see why it was so hard to unbox. I had no idea it was two separate boxes taped together. So why the small pipes, Steve? I just kind of like the way they sound and everything and doing the bellows uh, at my age. Smoking cigarettes for 48 years. Bellows may come in handy. <laughs> Again, nice, nice bit of bubble wrap on top. I always love seeing things being packed safely. Just a brief pause for coffee. All right, and even more. And here we go. Okay, so we got spare reed right here. You did order a spare reed with it, right? So, uh, excellent. So, put that over here. Ah, we have some stoppers. Hmm. And we got the instruction book for the uh, drone reads there. They are easy drone drone reads. And now getting into some of the, the lovely bits here. Again, nicely bubble wrapped, nicely taped, everything very secure, that nothing was jiggling or moving or jostling in the packaging, which is exactly what you want. You want it there secure. So McCallum has done a great job of packing these up. Uh, oh, there we go. 
It's got the Mopani wood. Oh, I love, I love when they put the, the wood accents on it. And, uh, and some thistle engraving on there if it comes through. Light might be just a little bright. So let's turn it down a little, actually. I'm a little washed out. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, some nice thistle engraving on here. That might be just a touch loose. It's, it's not quite airtight. We're probably going to put just a bit of string on that. So we've got the top there. Oh, the smell of a fresh set of pipes. Love it. So that's the base top we had over there. Pretty sure we have the chanter here. Yes, yes indeed. Ah. Uh, Awesome. And, oh, and it's got this lovely metal sole, more engraving around the top. And uh, these newer ones actually have a nice Fred Morrison signature right on the top of the channel. That's a nice touch. And uh, a nice cap for the reed already in there. Nicely done. All right. And then we have the blowpipe and the rest of the pipes here. Do a quick check. Nothing else in there. We'll get this box off the table and get that knife away from the bag. All right, does this just come off? Sometimes it does. Not quite. We need to cut one more piece of tape. Again, if you want anything unboxed on camera, just please contact me. I'd love to, well, open it for you. My unboxing videos have proven to be some of my most popular, uh, and I know I enjoy making them, so. And there we go. Greatness. Uh, you should be very pleased, Mr. Allen. These things look fantastic. That one fits pretty nicely. That's a little loose. That one fits pretty good. So we're, we're gonna turn the camera off here in a second. I'm gonna add just a bit of string to these. Um, but nice action on the, the switch, so that turns the drones on and off. That's super useful to have. All right, so there we go. Go ahead and get this blowpipe on as well. That fits really nicely. So cool, all right. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, strap these bellows on and give these things a go. So back in a moment. Now we're trying to get these things up and playable. as. Uh, we were going through the unboxing. I did say that several of these joints were pretty loose. So uh, that's sliding a little too easily. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna use some of the polyester string here. Small pipes tend to have much tighter tolerances and I like a thinner string for this. So, but as I was attempting to just play these things in, um, the drones themselves were kind of moving on their own with gravity. So that's never good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take the whole drone out. It's fitting pretty good in the main stock. You don't want them too tight. You're going to have to be able to move them while you're holding kind of a bellows. So I definitely don't want to overdo the amount of string. And we're also going to be testing to make sure that this joint is airtight. I talk about that in one of my Command Your Bagpipe episodes, but it's very important. You don't want leaky joints. It has a stopper in the end already. Stopper might not be tight though, let's try this. Yeah, it seems pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and tie this off and I'm gonna put just a little bit of hemp seal on it as well to help keep a nice good seal on this joint. I'm just tying a little half hitch at the end because the polyester thread is great for a lot of things but it does tend to unravel. We don't want it unraveling. That's what we're looking for. That's an airtight seal. This drone is going to have a clear sound. If it's leaking from anywhere around the end or, and this I think is just a solid bore. I don't think that's a cap. But on a Highland pipe, if it's leaking here or it's leaking from any of the other parts, it's gonna make it a stuffy sound. You don't want a stuffy sound. You want a nice clear drone. Sounds like a drone, cool. Then we're gonna move on to the baritone and we have a few things to talk about with the baritone.
Let's go ahead and just add a little bit of hemp or a little bit of... First, let's add a little bit of polyester, make this joint a little tighter. Let's do a septic test on this, make sure that this one's nice and tight. That's super good. Let's talk about this reed though. So if you can see, the bridle on this is all the way shoved against the band that holds the, the reed in place, the, the ligature, if you will, and it's still shutting down fairly readily. These being synthetic reeds, I don't mind mouth blowing these particular drones. Uh, I would not mouth blow the channel. It's got a cane reed that, that would ruin it. So we're gonna test all of that with the bellows, but I don't mind doing a little mouth test here. So it's finally opened up a little bit here, but the bigger problem is it's not wanting to get in tune. All right, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but I got my tuner going here. I have this bridle uh, about as open as it can be. I wanna see if it shuts down, but I also wanna see if this is getting anywhere near an E. Um, I have this, the tuning pin is about three millimeters away from actually stopping on the end. I'd like to have just a little bit of room to move it. Let's see what this comes in at. It comes in at shutting down. Okay, so let's open it up some more. Problem is, as you open it up, it wants to bring the pitch of the whole reed down. It's coming in at a D. This is supposed to be an E. Now, there are some drone tunings where D is super useful and it's really cool, but this isn't, uh, it's, it's supposed to be an E. All right, so no matter what I did with the supplied reed, it was shutting down and way too low pitched. I have other easy drone small pipe reeds for the drones, so I went ahead and found another one. Nice, soft volume, which you kind of want for the Harmony drone. You want it to blend in with the other ones. It's not shutting down. It sounds amazing. So McCallum always makes things right. I'm not really worried about it, but we are going to be in touch with them and getting this sorted out. But I'm happy I had another easy drone small pipe reed available for these small pipes. going pretty well right now. So we've got the new, uh, we've got the different read in the baritone right now. Let's see how they turn on with the switch. Right now with the current way they're set up, it's great to be able to just turn them off, but I'd probably have to adjust them so that they maybe took a little bit more air so that I could be sounding the channer and kick the drones on without having to get, like back the channer off and then bring it back in. So we're gonna get that reed sorted out for the baritone. And in the future, might play around with the other ones just so we can get the switch working with the channer. And there is another channer reed. All right, I've decided to set this channer up with the second reed that uh, Mr. Allen had purchased. The first reed had a nice, good, sweet strength, but it was needing quite a bit of tape on quite a few holes. I decided that I wanted to try the other reed and see how it does. We also heard back from McCallum about the baritone reed, and they said, basically, mess around with it some more. So I got quite a bit more aggressive in my technique and tactics that I was using to try to get the baritone reed into place. I actually re-sprung it quite a few times to see if I could get that reed to just maybe vibrate a little bit more freely. And it seems like it's working. Right now we're on the original equipment with the second reed and there's only a, some tape on the low G to bring it in. The rest of the channel right now is untaped. So I'm gonna fire them up and uh, have a tune or two.
I'll say, this new reed's pretty beefy. Um, these are taking quite a bit more air than my small pipes do, but they got a big, fat tone, so I'm not necessarily certain that's a bad thing. But uh, I am finding myself having just a bit of issue with the steadiness, because I'm just not used to pumping quite that hard. Let's have another tune. You have to do a Fred Morrison tune if you got a set of Fred Morrison small pipes, don't you? That's uh, the Kansas City Hornpipe. Or he normally plays those on his Illin pipes, but uh, he does have in his tune book a version for the Highlands. Well, Mr. Allen, I think you should be quite pleased with these. I think with a little playing in, that reed's going to probably ease up just a bit. Uh, I want to give it a little bit of time before we maybe tweak the bridle to maybe ease it up a little bit. Uh, and then as the drone reeds kind of break in and everything else, we might look at adjusting those so that the switch works maybe a little bit more efficiently when the channer's on. But those are really nits, and it needs to be played like any set of pipes when they come in. I think these are great. You're going to have uh, hours and hours of enjoyment with this particular set. So well done, sir. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for us today. Um, so again, set of Fred Morrison small pipes. They sound great. The set's particularly full and loud. But uh, with the second reed, it's coming in well. A little bit of springing of the uh, tongue on the baritone. It came in great. And uh, yeah, they're playing well. So uh, there we go. Another unboxing completed. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got something out of the video, go ahead and like it, maybe subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, you know, all that kind of stuff you're supposed to do. If you want to go the extra mile, you could head over to my Patreon, where a small monthly donation goes a really long way to helping me fund videos like these. I also give Skype lessons. If you want more personalized instruction, head over to www.mattpiper.com, and there's more information there. All right, everybody, thank you again so much. I'm Matt Willis, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.